Welcome back traders and in this video we're going to be going over the power plan event details in which we're going to be able to even TM away frustration. This is awesome. I know we all been needing this every time we have one of those events. It's amazing. Two new Pokemon, Helioloptile and Heliolisk. We're going to go over those stats here in a moment. All right, but first let's go ahead and go over the details for the event that we have going down here. And of course, like usual, shout out to Legends. Always have the amazing images here. So this event is going to be starting January 19th and going till February 1st. And you can see local time 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. So Helioloptile to Heliolisk, you're going to have to have 50 candies and then use a Sunstone as well. So it's going to take an evolution item and then we're going to see the rocket event going down January 24th. It doesn't really have an end time. We'll go over that more here in a minute. And if you're newer, well, the shadow Pokemon that you do catch, if you do not purify them, they will have frustration. You cannot TM that away. Uh, during these events only you will be able to use a charge TM to get rid of frustration and then you have yourself a usable shadow Pokemon for whatever reasons that you're going to be using it for. Taking a look at the wild Pokemon, you have Magnemite, Alolan Grimer, Voltorb, which we're not getting that new one. So everybody who, <laughs> sorry, it's not happening, unfortunately. Electabuzz, Porygon, uh, Trubbish, which is going to yield you extra Stardust. And then you're going to have the new Pokemon, Helioloptile. I suppose you're going to have some okay stuff for the raids, but take a look. We're going to see Regice getting Thunder as a sort of legacy move in the raids. You're going to have to use an Elite TM if you want to have it on the ones that you currently do have. Helioloptile will also be a field research task, but it's going to be in the wild too. So it's not like a complete paywall or anything, but we'll have to see how common they're going to be. Now going over Pokemon Go's blog itself. It does say it is going to be going down for the Rocket event to TMOA Frustration starting January 24th. And it says 2022 at 12 a.m. local time, and it doesn't give an end date. I don't know. It's obviously not going to go on forever, uh, but I just simply do not have an end time for when this is going to stop. So, yeah, um, just do it the first day and just get all the shadow Pokemon that you wanted to TM out of the way. I personally have pretty much everything done. Uh, I do every single event and i haven't really been doing rocket uh balloons or stops too much honestly i need to get back on the grind i've been really slowing down for the past several months but i got a lot of nice shiny shadow pokemon as well a nice little trick if you don't want to hit purify by accident somehow just make sure you don't have candies as you can see it just won't allow you to purify it so the lugia is on lock all right so taking a look at heal the blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> electric and normal uh, it's gonna have a max EP of 1054. I mean this one is not really like, you know, there's its evolution Okay, electric and normal pretty interesting typing. It's gonna have thundershock quick attack for the quick moves discharge bulldoze and Parabolic charge which is gonna be uh, it, The new introduction for this move for Pokemon Go if it does maintain those moves We don't know yet that may hold it for a special event But you never know they might just actually give it to it because we do have this electric event and it is kind of nice all right, so Heliolisk's weaknesses are going to be fighting in ground and then resisting ghosts because of the normal, resisting electric, flying, and steel. So the electric, flying, and steel are going to be because of the electric typing. Uh, its stats look okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the moves and see what we really have going on here for the quick moves. We have Volt Switch, Quick Attack, and Mud Slap. So I guess those are pretty good. I mean, at least you're getting stab on that. Mud Slap's not bad. Quick Attack's nah. Uh, as far as the charge moves, we're looking at Grass Knot, Thunderbolt, Bulldoze, and Parabolic Charge again. So that's an interesting move. We'll have to see what it's going to be all about when it does get introduced. I'm not going to hype this thing up too much, and I'm not going to say it's not going to be too good. I'm, you know, it's going to be a new Pokemon. And the funny thing is, we're getting this electric type right when we got the Whale Ring Community Day. So you're going to be able to do more electric pressure, I suppose. But that man, that Whale Ring, folks, Walrin. I know, I know. I was saying, uh, I'll try to make sure I say it correctly. I'm not trying to do it intentionally all the time. Sometimes I do to get those comments going here, <laughs> but anyway, this one's looking pretty fun, I suppose. It definitely does have interesting stats, so we'll just have to see how it pans out in Go Battle League. It's nothing you really want to use in raids, okay. Moving on, Regice. What the heck? Thunder? What in the world? What 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 what, what is that even going to do for it? Well, we'll talk about that. So it's sitting at a 65 win percentage in the Great League with Blizzard and Earthquake, and honestly, I feel like Thunder might be a little bit better for it in the Great League. As far as Ultra League, it, it will find play, but I feel like just go Blizzard a lot of times. I know, it's like, well, what if you're going up against water, right? Okay. I know. See, it has interesting moves, but I don't know what they're trying to do with this Ridge Eyes with Thunder here, but it definitely doesn't really improve its uh, play. Well, I mean, it does in the Great League, kind of. It could. 
Uh, but as far as the Ultra League from the test that I did, uh, it doesn't really look too hot because Thunder is a high energy move already. And then this thing already has Earthquake, Focus Blast, Blizzard. I mean, it has a good move pool. They're all hard hitting moves. They're not giving it a bait move. That's what the Reggies really need. They need bait moves. They don't give it to them because they, you know, if they get a bait move, I think it's going to be kind of, I'm not going to say OP, but, you know, abusive for these things. People are definitely going to take advantage of all that nonsense with the lock on. That's that's the only reason why it would be annoying is because the quick move lock on gains energy so fast. You could actually charge these moves at a pretty extreme rate, even though they require so much energy. Earthquake, Focus Blast, Blizzard, now soon to be Thunder. Uh, but like I said, taking a look at the Ultra League, I honestly feel like just having its typical moves are going to be better for it. Uh, you know, if you're going up against a pure water, Okay, yeah, yeah, Thunder's okay, right? Okay, I get it. Or a Flyer. But if you're going up against a Flyer, let's just say they're, I don't know, Fire and Flying. I don't know, Talon Flame. <laughs> just say it. Uh, Thunder, you know, is going to do a lot of damage, but I feel like just Blizzard plus Stab, right? Uh, we'll have to see. Kind of a weird move. All right, now if you're down on your TM luck, what you can do to get some of those going for you again is to battle the uh, leaders. I'm not like, you know the actual team leaders you go into training and you battle them and you can do it up to three times for a potential tm right there also battling your friends several times a day uh there is a point in which you're not going to get rewards anymore um and then also doing legendary raids tier three raids i guess maybe if you're lucky you can get them at tier two i've you know honestly i haven't done paid attention to the tier two or tier one raid rewards if i <laughs> in a long time, so I don't really know. I kind of just tap away from the screen, but definitely going up against Legendary Raids is going to get you some of those. I am completely stacked. As a matter of fact, I throw them away because, I mean, there just becomes a point where I just have simply too many and I just have to toss them. As much as, you know, they can add so many features. What about a feature where you can send people on your friends list items? How about that? Instead of throwing them away, instead of wasting it, you can donate it to your friends. I guess that sounds good and all, but I'm sure people would definitely take advantage of that with, you know, multiple accounts, but we don't need to go down that route because that's not an actual thing here. So just a recap, this event is going to be starting on the 19th of this month and then finishing on February 1st. You know, maybe the rocket event ends on February 1st and it's going to last for six days, although these things only typically go for a couple of days. So uh, don't don't procrastinate it when it does start. On the 24th, make sure you do Elite TM away those frustration moves on your Shadow Pokemon. If you're interested in that, you're going to be set to go. You got those Mawiles, maybe those Bulbasaur's getting them ready for the community day. Who knows? Whatever you have ready to go. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you need to turn notifications on. Big shout out to all my supporters. I really appreciate you. And I'll be catching you all in the next video. Take care, traders. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.